Hi, I'm Eric LeClaire. Today we're going to guide you through the install process. Let's get started. Today we're going to be installing the soundbar adapters for the 2018 to 22 Jeep Wrangler JL and 2020 to 2022 Gladiator JT. This kit comes with the complete adapter plates for six and a half inch speakers, six and three quarter inch speakers, and six by nine inch speakers, which gives you the freedom to upgrade your Jeep with your favorite aftermarket speakers for better sound quality. The speaker grill and frame come pre-assembled and the frames can be easily removed for custom painting to match your Jeep. Before we begin the installation, you should understand that modifications are required to the soundbar to make larger speakers fit inside it. Removal of the soundbar is not required, but it is recommended, and it does make the job a bit easier. Some steps are more easily completed with a second person. Vehicles equipped with a factory Alpine sound system, additional speaker wiring may be necessary to get a full range signal. Remove the four T25 Torx screws from the driver and passenger side door sport bar covers. Pull inwards toward the center of the vehicle to remove both trim covers from the vehicle. Remove the two lower T25 screws from under the driver and passenger side rear door sport bar covers. Having these loose from the bottom allows the soundbar to be removed and reinstalled. Remove the T25 screw and plastic push fastener from the driver side and passenger side outer sport bar covers. Then carefully pull them straight down to remove them. Remove the three T25 torque screws from the front of the center of the sport bar cover. Using a long flat blade screwdriver, carefully pass it through the front of the cover into the retaining clip for the dome light. Turn the screwdriver 90 degrees to release the clip from the sport bar. There's one clip on each side of the dome light. Repeat this process on the other clip on the other side. Unplug the dome light wire harness and set it aside for later. Using a trim tool, release the retaining clips along the rear edge and remove the center sport bar cover from the vehicle. Disconnect the speaker wire harness connector. Remove the wire harness push fastener. Remove the two 10 mm bolts on the outside edge of the driver and passenger side of the soundbar. While securely holding the soundbar into place, remove the two inner 10 mm bolts on the soundbar, then lower the soundbar to remove it from the vehicle. Now we'll begin soundbar disassembly on the bench. We recommend using a clamp to secure the soundbar while cutting it. Remove the four 5mm Allen screws securing the factory speaker grill and remove the grill. Be sure to keep these screws as they will be used to reattach the new grill. Remove the four T30 Torx screws securing the port into the enclosure. Remove the port and the foam gasket from the enclosure. Remove the five T20 Torx screws securing the factory tweeter and mid-range speakers. Unplug and remove all speakers. Push the grommet on the tweeter wire harness into the mid-range area. Unclip the speaker harness and temporarily tuck them into the well towards the center of the soundbar to get ready for the cutting process. Choose the adapter plate that matches the speakers you're installing. Place the plate on the soundbar and trace the hole with a silver marker. We're going to be installing the 6x9 inch speakers, so we use the 6x9 inch speaker plate. A few things to know before cutting. If a cut goes over one of the metal thread inserts, simply cut around it. The very bottom of the factory tweeter cup is very close to the back of the soundbar. You might find it easier to cut around it and remove the pocket completely. Most importantly, wear eye protection and keep your fingers out of the way. Using an air saw or Dremel or your favorite cutting tool, carefully cut along the line.
use a rounded file to file off the rough edges. Use compressed air or a vacuum to remove the cutting debris from the inside of the soundbar. Now repeat this process on the other side of the soundbar. Place the speaker panel back in place and attach it to the soundbar using the six, number eight by half inch Phillips screws provided with the kit. If the panel won't quite sit flush on the soundbar, use a step bit to round out the hole so that it fits flat against the soundbar. Connect one of the speaker adapters to the larger of the two factory speaker connectors. Connect the speaker leads to the speaker. Reference the factory speaker terminal for polarity. Secure the unused connector to reduce possible rattles. We used electrical tape to secure the connector to the wiring. If you want to apply sound deadening materials inside the soundbar to maximize your sound performance, now is the time to do that. Mount the speaker to the speaker panel using the hardware included with your speakers. If you want to custom color your frames or grills, you can disassemble them by removing the five screws on the back, then reassemble them after they're dry. Attach the grill using the four 5mm Allen head screws removed from the factory grill. Do not use a power drill. Hand tighten these screws only. Then repeat this process on the other side of the soundbar. With all the speakers installed, reinstall the soundbar in the opposite order of which you took it out. That completes the installation of our soundbar speaker adapters from Stinger Electronics. We hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.